Hello everybody and welcome, ZDS here, bringing you guys a quick little tutorial video. In this video, if you can't tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the application PK Hex in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Now, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quick is just something that I'm going to be altering. So first, let me go to my party here real quick. You can see that I did finish this party for <sighs> the sake of competitive play. Um, I will also be going into my PC here. And I will be showing you just some basic stuff with PK Hex that you can do to give yourself some Pokemon that you may be interested in using. So let's go ahead and exit out of XD Gale of Darkness here. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to Tools, go to Memory Card Manager, and then go to Browse. It should open up in the default uh, setting folder where you have your memory card information stored. If it does not, go through your folder directories until you find it. In my case, it opens up directly. So I'll go ahead and click Memory Card A, go to Pokemon XD, click Export GCI, and in this case I have a folder specifically labeled for GCI fold, uh, files for XD Gale of Darkness uh, for a video that I have been doing. So I will label this uh, XD33 since it is the 33rd one I'm trying, and I will move over now to PK Hex. Now I will leave a download link in the description to the PK Hex page. Just be aware that uh, in, for some reason, the more recent update that allows you to use Pokemon Sword and Shield with PK Hex, the bottom part here, which will show items and other alterations for older generations, does not appear as of the time of this recording. So you might want to double check that before you actually go ahead and use this application. Now, I'm going to go ahead to File and go to Open. From here, it'll open up into, well, the last folder I used, but in this case, I need something a little bit better than that. So I'll go to my Documents folder, go to what is labeled Dolphin Emulator, click on GC for GameCube, go to XD Stuff, and double-click the XD33 file. Here you can see the exact party makeup and the Pokedex stuff, whatever, of my PC in Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Now, there are many Pokemon who I have already altered here. Um, I will go ahead and just click on something randomly here, in this case a Salamence, just to show you a quick example of this red hazard sign here. This red hazard sign almost always indicates, at least in previous generation games, of an encounter type PID mismatch. Do not worry about this unless you are really trying to create competitive Pokemon that you can use in legal competitions against other players. This does not at all hinder the Pokemon itself, and it does not necessarily mean that it's illegal, but trying to figure out how to how to uh, change the PID requires a PID calculator, and I am frankly not interested in wasting my time to get this number correct. Now then, so with this game, you can actually, of course, alter the Pokemon who you already caught. In this case, I have an Articuno that I caught as a shadow. You can see that it has extra sensory as its move, and I altered some of its other moves as well. But you can also do something a little bit different. In this case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you guys very quickly how to basically make any Pokemon you want. So in this case, I'm going to use Flygon as sort of a test platform here. And I'm going to scroll to Gardevoir here. Now you can change various different aspects. You can change the nickname to make it anything you want. You can make the Pokemon shiny. You can change the PID to a reroll of randomness. Do not alter the shadow ID. Um, it is not necessary if you're going for the method that I'm about to show you. Uh, you can alter the level, of course, the specific number of experience points, the nature to any of the 25 available, the held item, you can make it any item in the game that you desire. However, doing this with some items will end up breaking the game, so be wary of that. You can alter its ability if it has more than one. If not, you cannot do anything to it. You can change its friendship between zero and 255. The way to make it sure that it's 255 is just by clicking the button or clicking the word friendship here. <sighs> Along with that, we can go over to the Met page and you can select the origin game, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, Fire, Leaf Green, or in this case, it's in Colosseum. However, for the sake of this video, I'm going to show that this Pokemon is from Pokemon Emerald. You're also going to want to make sure that the Faithful Encounter uh, check mark here, which does come up with XD Pokemon, is not checked. Otherwise, it will not come up as legitimate. We'll get back to this in a moment. Then you can go to stats, where you can change the IVs and EVs to any number that you wish. You can change them to make sure that you have specific types of hidden power, any of the 17 or 16 types available. 
In this case, I'm going to go with a dark hidden power for Gardevoir, not just because of the maximum of all 31 in every IV, but also because uh, Gardevoir does do rather well with the uh, dark type uh, hidden power. Um, I'm going to go back here to the first page real quick, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the Timid Nature, which I think personally is best for Gardevoir if you're going for a uh, fast special sweeper. And I'm going to change its level to 100, which will avoid me having to level grind it later. I'm going to remove the left of the uh, Lucky Egg and give it the leftovers item just for the hell of it. Then we'll go to the attacks. Now, as you can see from the Flygon that I originally had selected, it has three moves here for the Gardevoir that are not legal moves. The easiest way to fix this is by clicking anywhere inside of this line that surrounds the boxes of the moves. I usually click in between them. Just click there and it will give you a prompt that'll say apply suggested current moves, which will give you the current moves that the Pokemon is expected to know at that particular level. Now, of course, we do still have invalid met level here. This red hazard sign we can get rid of very quickly. We'll go back to the main page and in between where it says EXP and level, Click that empty space, and it will give you another save prompt, which will say suggested met location route 102 at level 4. Click yes, go back to there, and it'll say, it'll st it's still saying that it's invalid. So the best way to, that I've known to fix that is to set the met level to zero, go back to main, and there you go. See, what this does is that if the met level is zero, it's considered an egg Pokemon. Egg Pokemon, nine times out of ten, will be considered legitimate regardless of any other thing you alter as long as the moveset is, con is concurrent with the Pokemon that you're trying to change. So I'll also give her a moveset of Psychic. We will also go with Thunderbolt, Ice Punch for coverage, and finally Calm Mind for boosting. You can also click up here on the place where it says PPFs to make sure all of them have the max amount of PPFs that are equippable to that Pokemon. Next to that, I think I'm going to go ahead and make her a shiny Gardevoir. And as you can see, it still says that she is a legal Gardevoir. I will go ahead and right click and click set. That is all you do. You can do that for any Pokemon that is not an event Pokemon. But I will stress again that for the event Pokemon, you might want to do something a little different. In the case of Pokemon that are event exclusive, for example, let's go ahead and try Deoxys. In the case of Deoxys, it'll say unable to match encounter from origin game. The best way to figure that out is to click again between the EXP and the level, where it'll say the suggestion is birth island in Emerald and met level at 30. Now, it will still say that there is a spe an, an encounter type PID mismatch. In this case, it also says Faithful Encounter Flag is missing. So we will click that, go back to it, and it'll still say this is a thing. This is the most common error that I get anytime I use PK Hex, and you will also receive this error. Don't worry too much about it unless you are a very big stickler for making sure that everything is precisely accurate. Next to that, I'm gonna go ahead and change the nature of this little thing to a hasty nature, and I will still make it shiny, which shiny is legitimate in Pokemon Emerald. I will, instead of giving the moveset that I have it now, I will change it to Psychic, Superpower, Ice Beam, and I suppose the final move I'll give it will be Extreme Speed. And again, I will just click PP up here, right click, hit Set. And the last thing I'm gonna show you guys real fast is here in the Trainer Info and Items. Now, as of the time of this recording, this right here, as of the update, I believe this is the current update, the 12-26-2019, I don't believe I have this current update installed, so maybe they fixed it, but if you are using the current update of, of uh, uh, PK Hex, which of course will be the one that will be available on the download page, these options that are gonna be in this box will not be here for some of the older generations. Again, I don't know if they fixed that. I will get back to you guys when I figured out if that is the case. But assuming that you are using an older version of PK Hex, I will show you real quick. I will go to Trainer Info. In XD Guild Darkness, you cannot change much of anything. You can change the gender of the character, but that doesn't do anything. You can change the trainer ID and secret ID, but again, that doesn't matter. Change the money and change the nickname. That's all. And in items, you can go through your regular items, key items, Pokeballs, TMs and HMs, berries, medicine items. Uh, in this case, these are the uh, incense uh, for purifying your Pokemon, and then the uh, battle CDs. 
You can alter them in any way, shape, or form you want. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and give myself 100 rare candies, I guess. Uh, but that's all I'm really going to do here. You can go ahead and give all if you want. That's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and click Save Now. And <clears throat> that is pretty much the most of it as well. Oh, real quick before I do that, though. In uh, OT Miscellaneous, it'll also show the trainer ID and the secret ID of the Pokemon. You can change these to uh, fit whatever you desire. Same thing with the original trainer name and or gender, if you wish to do so. Extra bites, I do not know what this does. Please, if you do know, inform me in the comment section. And then, of course, you can change its markings and its ribbons to whatever ribbon you may want to add to its collection if you have such a desire to do so. Um, also, real quick, you can, uh, there is an options here. If you do misclick, you can go up to options and click undo last change. And the last, very last thing, sorry, I'm getting to it, I promise you guys, is I will show you real quick the mystery gift database. This is something that I have showcased in my other PK Hex tutorial videos. But in Pokemon XDO Darkness, there are very few events that you can actually enter into the game. You can only put events into the game that are of generation 1 through 3 Pokemon and that are obtainable in Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, and XD, Colosseum, and Fire Red, and Leaf Green, and nothing else. So I usually do not mess with this because the event database does not have the exact Pokemon I'm looking for. Like in this case, it gave me this uh, ho -Oh, which is a Sapphire one. It is a legitimate ho -Oh, but it's not exactly what I was after. I was more specifically looking for the Mount Battle ho -Oh from Pokemon Coliseum. But we will go ahead and call that it. So once you're done, you will go to File, go to Export Sav, and then go to Export Main. Go back to whatever folder you desire the exported file to be in. In this case, I'm going to the XD stuff folder. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click XD and change the number to 34. Hit enter and click OK. <clears throat> now from here, go ahead and shrink PK Hex. Go back to your memory card page. Click on the Pokemon XD file that you have selected. Now you will need to click delete. Do not click delete until you exported the file at the beginning of the video. Click delete. Go to import GCI. And then double click the GCI you just created. In this case, the Pokemon XD file. Then you will exit out of your memory card. Reopen the game, and I will just very quickly show you exactly what I did. If the damn thing will run properly. I also have the emulator set to uh, unlimited frame rate so that the game runs faster than it is normally able to run. I also believe I have it set to 1.5 times resolution as well. Gives it a better picture quality. So we'll go ahead to the PC and you can see right here the Gardevoir that I have created as well as the Deoxys that I created as well. So that is going to go ahead and do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, links to my Twitter or link to my Twitter is in the description down below. And if you have any ideas for your content, please let me know in the comment section down below or on my Twitter page, Jesso Diaries. And until next time, this has been CDS, making YouTuber fun one video at a time. And I'll see you guys in the next video.